next experiment is a design of butterworth filters so this butterworth filter uh, there are two types of butterworth filters for our syllabus that is a low pass and high pass butterworth filters of first order and second order but for our experiments we have uh, we are going to design a first order low pass and first order high pass butterworth filters so first we will take a first order low pass butterworth filter later we'll see the first order high pass butterworth filter okay this circuit diagram is for a low pass filter first order low pass filter so this circuit is consist of single rc stage so one resistor and one capacitor at input stage so we uh, this is a single rc stage we call it as a first order low pass filter if it contains a uh, two stages of rc network so we call it as a second order low, low pass filter so we connected uh, our input signal to non inverting terminal of the op amp so this is in a non inverting configuration a feedback resistors are connected so here one capacitor is connected so designing a first order low pass filter means we have to find out the values of capacitor the value of r the value of r1 and value of rf based on the given problem okay let us see a design problem the problem is like this design a first order low pass butterworth filter having a higher cutoff frequency of 1.6 kilohertz and passband gain of 2 so we have to design a filter such that we will get a cutoff frequency or 3 decibel frequency at 1.6 kilohertz and gain passband gain that should, that should be 2 so based on given problem we have to find out the value of r c value of r1 and rf for we know some uh, uh, the formulas for uh, calculating the value of c r r1 and rf so given is higher cut off frequency is given that is 1.6 kilohertz and it is passband gain af is given that is 2 so we know the formula fh equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc so first we have to assume a standard capacitor value so some uh, capacitors are, are available in our lab having a value of 0.1 microfarad and uh, 0.01 microfarad we will assume for this experiment we will assume a value of c as 0.01 microfarad so fh is given we have to find out the value of r this r we have to find out so we know the formula fh equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc so we have to find out the value of r so it this will become 1 divided by 2 pi fh into c 1 divided by 2 pi put the value of fh and put the value of c you will get a value of r that is 9.97 kilo ohm you will get so that is equal to 10 kilo ohm so this this becomes a 10 kilo ohm and another formula is gain is nothing but it is a non inverting op amp so gain formula for this op amp is f equal to 1 divided by rf plus r1 af is given that is passband gain is 2 put the value of 2 here you will get rf divided by r1 equal to 1 so rf is equal to r1 let us take a value of r1 as 10 kilo ohm so these both resistances are equal so r1 and rf are 10 kilo ohm so we will put a resistor resistor of having a value of 10 kilo ohm and 10 kilo 10 kilo this is about a design so so connect all the um uh, resistors capacitors and op amp in on a breadboard and build this circuitry the next step is we have to measure the output by giving a input sine wave we have to provide a sine wave here we have to measure the output okay so first procedure is so keep the input voltage constant the we are connecting input voltage sine wave that is we have to uh, keep this voltage input voltage constant for example you can take 0.0.5 volt peak to peak or anything for simplicity we have taken input voltage that is 1 volt peak to peak so next this is constant you should not change this uh, amp, uh, this uh, this voltage input voltage just we have to change the input signal frequency keep on changing the frequency of input signal and note down the output sine wave peak to peak value first what we have to do we have to keep this uh, input voltage that is a constant one volt peak to peak then what we have to do is we have to we have to change the input signal frequency okay the so for different input signal frequency what what is the what will be the output we have to note it down for example we will take some readings like uh, for 100 hertz so 100 hertz input signal what is the output what is the output voltage we have to note it down for 100 hertz normally we will get 1.98 or 2 2.02 to like that so based on this we have to find out the gain so gain is nothing but it is a output divided by input the input is 1 volt output we got a 1.98 so gain is v not divided by v in that is 1.98 again we have to convert this gain in a decibel scale the if you convert uh, 
gain from linear to decibel you have to use 20 log v now divided by v and you will get a gain in decibel so take some more readings like for 200 hertz how much is the output for 400 for 1 kilohertz for 1.5 for 2 kilohertz for 4 kilohertz for 8 10 take some readings note down the output corresponding output voltage and find out the gain convert this linear gain in decibel gain after uh, getting all these the, all the readings so you know the frequency you know the gain so draw yeah, using semi log graph you have to draw uh, frequency versus gain uh, on semi log graph okay and using that one you have to find out the cutoff frequency this is the 6.02 is the highest gain so to find out the cutoff frequency we have to subtract 3 decibel from this highest gain 6.02 you will get a 3 decibel here so take a horizontal line this line cuts at some point from this you take a projection on x axis or a frequency axis you will get some a frequency at this point uh, measure the frequency that is 1.6 kilohertz so this is the cutoff frequency hence we successfully designed a lower low pass filter low pass first order butterworth filter having a, a pass band gain of 2 and cutoff frequency of 1.6 kilohertz so for designing a high pass filter the procedure is same what you have to do is for high pass filter you have to interchange the position of capacitor and resistor connect capacitor instead of here connect that capacitor to here and resistor you connect here so that that becomes a first order high pass filter and remaining procedure remains same again you have to find out the you have to you have to keep it constant input voltage and you have to keep on changing the input frequency note down output voltage calculate the gain convert that gain in decibel scale again using a semi log graph you have to draw uh, frequency versus gain formula for high pass filter also the design problem is same uh, the design problem is design a first order high pass filter having a lower cutoff frequency fl of 1.6 kilohertz and pass band gain of 2 so same problem for high pass filter also using the, using this uh, you have to draw frequency versus gain curve and calculate the cutoff frequency thank you